Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I wanted to um, go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about me, about who I am and what I do and all that good stuff. So before we get into the video, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. It is completely and totally free. Also, hit that bell down below so that you will get notifications when I do upload videos. And hit the all, um, just so you can get all the notifications of whenever I do upload videos. I would also love, love, love for you guys to share my videos, um, maybe on your social media platforms and with your family and friends and co-workers as well. So, today, like I said, I want to share just a little bit about me because I know that I have um, so many new subscribers and I am so grateful for all of my fans. You guys know I love you so, so very much. Um, and I just, I thank you for all the love that I've been getting on all my videos, on all the channel, um, and just, just all the love, you guys, the encouragement, and, you know, it's just, oh, it warms my heart because when I started YouTube, I didn't even think that I would get this far, um, and I am almost at 3,000 subscribers, and I know for some people it's like, oh, it's just 3,000 subscribers, it's nothing, but... It's a lot to me because it's a lot of hard work that goes into it um, day to day and also just you guys always supporting me and you know being there for me when I need y'all and just giving me all the love, all the love you guys. So I just want to thank you guys so much. So I want to chat a little bit about me like I said um, because I, I do have a lot more new subscribers and I want to um, kind of introduce myself to everyone and just to let you know who I am, what I'm about, what I stand for, and all that good stuff. So let's get into today's video. So my name is Shoshana and I live in the Northeast region and right now it is currently snowing and it's beautiful. I'm sitting in my dining room in front of my window and I can see the snow. I'm going to show you guys a picture of it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I live in the Northeast region and I absolutely love it. I love it so very much. Um, I have three children and my husband is Michael Bowens from Mike Bowens Motivates. You guys may know him or may not as of yet, but he does have a motivational, Christian motivational channel here on YouTube, Mike Bowens Motivates. Um, you guys can hop on over there and check him out as well. He motivates the mess out of you, okay? <laughs> Um, and we have been married for 15 years, been together for 19 years. Oh my gosh, that's like almost 20 years, you guys. That's almost two decades. That's crazy. Um, and we are college sweethearts. I met him when I was in college, and he approached me very confidently and was just like, Hey, my name is Mike, you know, nice to meet you. <laughs> And of course I was looking for the exit, but deep down inside I was just like, ooh, this dude is fine, okay? He's fine. <laughs> anyway, so we have three beautiful, wonderful children, Michael, Michaela, and Nyla. Um, Michael, Mikey, he has a YouTube channel and so does Michaela. Um, Kayla Beasy's World and Mike Beasy's World as well and you can check them out. I would love for y'all to give them some encouragement and just support and love on them. But anyway, um, yeah, so we literally lived in the Northeast region all, I would say my husband all of his life. I'm originally from Jamaica West Indies. I am a Jamaican. I also migrated here when I was nine years old with my mom and my three brothers. And um, we've been here for all about 30 years almost. Oh my gosh, I think 2020 is going to be 30 years that we've been here. Um, and so I came here when I was a little girl and I went to elementary school, I went to middle school, I went to high school, I went to college, and this is where I am in life right now. I am a Christian and I am proud of it and love being a Christian. I am a Jesus freak, you guys. Y'all should know by now that I am a Jesus freak. Totally, totally a Jesus freak. 
Okay, so picking back up from where I left off, um, my, something is going on with my camera. I don't know what it is, but my son just fixed it for me. Um, but picking back up, so we closed down our daycare of 10 years, and um, my husband and I, we talked about it, so he decided that he was going to go back out to work, and I am going to be focusing on um, my YouTube. So I am now a full-time YouTube and vlogger, and um, basically I just document my life. I document my life, my everyday living journey. Um, I also do a lot of organizing and decorating and cleaning and DIYs and seasonal decor and things like that. And it's really what I love to do. Um, I planned on starting a, an interior decorating um, boutique shop and that's going to be for the near future, but um, I started a web, well, I am in the process of starting a website. I was going to do the store, but I changed my mind. I am not going to be selling anything online. Um, so basically what my website entails is I'm going to be doing um, interior decor, uh, events, event planning, weddings, birthday parties, that sort of thing. And that's going to be on my website. So if that's something that you are interested in, you definitely um, can go to my website and check it out. The website will be published by Monday, this month, Monday. I'm so excited about it. Um, so once it's published, you can definitely go and check out the site and um, kind of just go around and see if there are any services that you like and you can contact me through email. So, yes. So I'm super duper excited about launching that. I've always wanted to be a wedding event planner. It's always been something that I've been passionate about. I love to decorate. I love to create um, spaces and make them beautiful. I love to tell a story with my design and my decor. And you can see here in my own home um, that I have taken the liberty of doing that. My house, my home is literally my digital business card and so I love to do um, things like this and just be creative. I am a very creative person. I'm also a visual learner so I don't do well with um, you know sitting behind a desk or in a cubicle. I don't do well with that. I need to be out in the field and being creative and hands-on and talking to the people and feeling the materials and you know all that good stuff. So. It's always been a passion of mine, and I'm just so grateful to God that um, I get to pursue that, and I'm grateful to the Lord for my husband that he will, you know, he's allowed me to to be able to do that. So um, I'm just super excited. I'm super excited about my future, our future here on YouTube, and um, I thank God for you guys because you guys have helped me to get to this point, and um, you know, I'm looking for future growth here on YouTube as well. So, more about me, I am 39 years old. I just had a birthday on November 1st, and I just turned 39, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about that. I know some people, they're just like, oh my gosh, I'm getting old, I'm gonna be 40, da da da. But I am really so excited about turning 39. I feel like I'm getting older, I'm getting wiser. Um, you know, I have more, um, What's what I'm looking for. I have more knowledge under my belt and I am able to be more knowledgeable about certain things and you know certain things in life. <laughs> I don't know everything by the way but just certain things in life and um, I'm just glad that I have had experiences that I've had in my past. I've had a lot of different things that happen um, you know in my life and I talked a little bit about it in a video that I made um, the other day about trusting God. Um, I just gave you guys just a little bit, but there's so much more. And <laughs> I'm going to be doing a video about that as well. But, you know, I just, I, I love where I am in life. Is it perfect? No. Do I have hardships sometimes? Yes, in certain areas. Sometimes I question myself. Uh, yes, absolutely. Sometimes I question God. Yes, who hasn't done that? I am a human being. And I like to be um, transparent. I like to just be honest. 
you know, I have struggles, I have daily struggles, I have things that I face and go through just on a daily basis. I literally every single day have to deliberately kick the thoughts, the negative thoughts in my mind because y'all know the battle happens in the mind and literally every day I have to, you know, focus on kicking that to the curb and just really focus on, on what God has for me. Um, it is a struggle, but thank God I am getting better at it every day. And, you know, I just like to be transparent. I don't like to act like, oh, everything is all hunky-dory and, you know, it's great and not, it, everything is not always what you see. And, um, I love my life. I love my family. We just moved to a brand new home five months ago and I absolutely love my home. I am so grateful to God for it. Um, obviously, it is not my God. I will never put a home, a car, family, children, husband before my, my creator. He has totally been um, my lifespan. He has been my the beat in my heart. And every single day that I get up, I get to say thank you, Jesus. And that, for me, is pure pleasure. It is a pleasure to be able to say thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. So I am a diehard Jesus fan at heart. Um, let me see what else I can tell you about me. I am a career person. I am a career driven person. Um, I love what I do. I love to create. Like I said, I love to um, make things happen. I love working for myself. I love being an entrepreneur. Um, and that's what I am striving to be. My future goals is to own my own bed and breakfast and, you know, have my own boutique um, stores, Regal Designs by Shoshana with my own line of brands and that is definitely um, something that I am aspiring to and aspiring to work on as well. I I want to be, I want to be the very best that I can be. I want to be what God has carved out for me to be. Um, I want His plan and you know, his purpose to fulfill in my life and in the life of everyone that um, is around me. And so my goal is every single day to make sure that not only that I am in the will of God, but that I am also taking the steps to walk it out. Many times in life we can get bogged down or get, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Many times in life we can get bogged down or kind of get stuck and I have been to a place where I felt like I was stuck. Um, like I said, we just closed down a daycare of 10 years and I literally felt like I was stuck on a daily basis, like I, this, this was my existence, like this is it, I am daycare, that's it. <laughs> um, but I thank God that I was able to um, just realize, you know, the God-given gift that's inside of me and just just move with that. So I think I covered, I'm 39 years old, married, um, mom of three wonderful children and we just moved into a brand new home. Okay, so I am an adventurer. I love to go out. I love to, okay, let me say this. I'm an adventurer and I'm, I'm a homebody. I'm, I'm very introverted. <laughs> I, I'm a very, I'm an introvert for sure. But I love to go out. I love to dance. I love to have fun. Um, I have done the human slingshot in the, in Six Flags over Georgia once. If y'all don't know what that is, it's you basically get into like this basket. They take you up like feet, hundreds of feet up high and press the button and it lets you go in the air and yes I did that man it was so much fun it was like a thrill and I love doing things like that I hope to one day do um, skydiving I've always wanted to do skydiving and um, also do a hot air balloon so those are two of like my bucket list things I don't know about bungee jumping I don't know about I'd rather go up I don't want to go down <laughs> rather go up high I don't want to go down so 
Um, but those are two things on my bucket list that I definitely would like to um, achieve or accomplish in the near future. Uh, I love road trips. I love a good road trip. If I can get into a car and drive around the world, I literally would do that. I love to take road trips. Oh my goodness, I feel like just driving and seeing the scenery, the beautiful atmosphere, you know, the trees, and I love driving around at different seasons. Um, my dream, and it seems like a small dream, but y'all, my dream, um, let me say my, my small dream, because I have big dreams, medium dreams and small dreams, but my small dreams is to one day be able to rent out a cabin in the mountains with my family at Christmas time and just relax, no phones, no televisions, and just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the season. Go sledding, go skiing, and snow tubing. Oh my gosh, I've been snow tubing, I went skiing, and I absolutely love it. And I live in the area that is all about skiing, all about snow tubing, and tobogganing, and all of that. Um, and so I love to do those things. So I'm an adventurer at heart. I like to get out. I love the outdoors. Um, summertime is not my favorite time. I love the warmth. I am from Jamaica, um, so I do love the warmth. But I am a fall season. Anywhere from, the, from September to December, it's like my favorite time of year. I love it so much. And um, I just get so much thrill out of just the snow. Like right now it's snowing and I'm besides myself because all I want to do is go outside and throw snowballs. <laughs> I love it, you guys, I really do. Um, I'm a winter baby, so maybe that's what it is. But I absolutely love this time of year. I love Christmas. Another thing you need to know about me, I love Christmas. <sighs> I'm a Christmas fanatic. I will put a Christmas tree anywhere I can put a Christmas tree. <laughs> I think I have 10 Christmas trees in my house. <laughs> um, little ones, big ones, and I'm actually, yeah, I'm about to seriously decorate my seven and a half foot Christmas tree in my family room. I know, I have one here, one in my office. One is going to be in my bedroom. My daughter has one. My other daughter has one. My son is about to get one. We have one in the foyer, and I, I think we can, we have a couple on the on the front porch. <laughs> Y'all, I am a Christmas fanatic. Yeah. And so my camera keeps asking up, so I have to keep stopping every minute, you guys. But I'm trying to remember where I left off. So Christmas. Yes, I love everything about Christmas. I love the smells. I love the atmosphere. All the trees and. Obviously what it stands for, I love the spirit of it all. I love to fellowship with my family and with my friends and the food, oh my gosh. I love to cook for Christmas and I love to eat. I am a foodie at heart, so anything you throw before me, as long as it's not a bear or a snake, you know, or cockroaches, I will eat it. <laughs> Um, don't give me a horse either. I hear people eat, they eat horses around here and Lord have mercy. But I am a foodie. I love to eat, love to eat, love to eat. So Christmas, Thanksgiving for me is like one of the two best times of year for me because I literally go out, all out. Now, my family, my immediate family is five. And so I was raised in a family that cooks a heck of a lot for no reason okay like I'm talking about on Sundays we have like oxtails and rice and peas and curry goats and jerk chicken and you know carrot juice and salads and vegetables and fruit bowls like that's dinner <laughs> that is not a feast <laughs> that's dinner and so I kind of adapt that same mindset of Holidays, um, I go all out, so I cook a lot. I cook a lot. <laughs> um, I do a lot of different meats. My husband doesn't eat pork. My children, from time to time, they do. Well, let me see. Me and my son, we do eat pork. But it's like once in a blue moon. Um, and so 
sometimes I'll just, I'll make, I, I won't cook like a pork pork, but sometimes I do make like the bacon um, once in a while, maybe like twice a year or so, I'll do pork bacon um, and my son and I indulge. And I'll do, I don't do the turkeys because we don't necessarily eat a whole turkey. We eat like the turkey meat, the, you know, the processed one. <laughs> not good but we eat the organic processed turkey <laughs> but um, I cook like roast chicken and um, oxtails and jerk chicken barbecue chicken I do a roast a beef roast sometimes I make lamb or tilapia or salmon you know that sort of thing and so I do cook a lot for Christmas because I like to eat I, I don't I like to have plenty and I like to eat and I love for my children to be able to go to the refrigerator and take out what they want to eat and not have to worry about there not being enough food on Christmas Day. <laughs> so I love to do that. I also, like I said, I, I'm a foodie. Um, I like to try new things, try new different foods. I love Indian foods. I love Italian food. Um, I love Greek food. I love Greek salad. Oh my goodness. It's like one of the best salads ever. Um, I love Armenian food. Now, I haven't tried a lot of Armenian foods, but my my mom, she's a nurse, and she used to take care of an Armenian family, and oh my gosh, amazing the food that they used to have, and it just was the bomb. Um, so I love all different kinds of food. I love American soul food, and of course, my Jamaican cuisine. I absolutely love my Jamaican cuisine. Comfort foods for me is a big thing. My comfort food, some people's comfort food is like brownies or chocolate cake or cookies, ice cream. My comfort food is like jerk chicken and soup. <laughs> I love soup. Um, and curry goat. Like that's my comfort food. I, you know, I, I love to just snuggle up and have a nice plate of jerk chicken and rice and peas with tomatoes and a nice glass of Sprite. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, y'all. Let me, let me not. Okay. I love food. Let's just say that. I love food. So, <laughs> um, I love shopping. I love to go shopping. Thrifting is my favorite thing. I've literally been thrifting since I was in high school over 20 years ago. And I've been thrifting um, for a long time, and I just, I love thrifting. I love taking the old and making it new. Um, I love refurbishing things. I love old antique furniture, especially. Um, and I love painting them. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, why do you paint antique furniture? I don't like dark furniture, per se. Some things, like my table, my console table behind me, I love it all together. But for the most part, I love light colors. I don't know what it is. I love light. I love bright and I love airy. I don't like dark, dingy spaces and I don't like that. I love when my space is bright and airy and free from clutter and all that. So I am, I guess, a furniture refurbisher. I don't even know if that's a word, but I like to refurbish old furniture, old furniture antique furniture and make them new. I love to reupholster, paint, whatever I got to do to make them beautiful. I like to do that. Um, so I love thrifting. Another thing that I love to do is my newfound love is photography. I love taking pictures. Um, I've taken hundreds, maybe thousands of pictures of my kids. <laughs> I have it on my phone. I have it in my albums. I have it all over my house. I love taking pictures, um, and I love especially taking pictures of my family, my friends. I love to go out and just snap a picture at um, maybe a light fixture or the way the lighting is with, on a tree or like now it's snowing. I love to go out and just take pictures of the snow falling. Um, I don't know if that's called, that's not abstract, but I love to take pictures of the environment. I love, love art. Um, I don't have a lot of art pieces in my house, which is weird because I do love art, but I like to have pictures of my family in my home. And I like mirrors, 
different design of mirrors. Um, you'll see mirrors all over my house because I love different designs of it. I love the elegance that it brings. I love the fact that it makes a room just light up because light bounces off of the mirrors and I love that about, the, about mirrors. Um, also, I love the fact that you can look in the mirror and, and check yourself, you know what I mean? Also, I feel like the mirror, it helps you to look beyond your outside, your outward appearances. It's weird. It's like that mirror, mirror on the wall thing for me. I love it. I love standing in front of a mirror and talking to myself. <laughs> you guys might think I'm weird, but it's the truth. Like, I love talking to myself in the mirror because I get to... I get to see what other people don't see. <laughs> I get to answer myself back. And I know people always say, so I don't care if you talk to yourself, just don't answer yourself. I literally answer myself. I do talk to myself. I know y'all talk to yourself. Don't make it seem like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I talk, I talk to myself. Um, but I like looking in the mirror and just being like, okay. You know, it's more like a motivational thing. Like, today, you're going to have a good day. Today is a great day because you're alive. That sort of thing. I don't like to look in the mirror and be like, girl, you got it going. Nah, that's, I don't, that's not me. I just like to motivate myself and I like to look myself in the eyes and tell myself that you are somebody and that God has a plan for you. That type of thing. You might try it. It might help you. Let me tell you, it helps me. I do it every day and it, it helps to motivate me and to get me to get up and be a mom and a wife and a woman and a person and a human. <laughs> Any way that you can find to cope and to talk to yourself or to make yourself better, do it, okay? As long as it's not harming yourself or illegal, do what you need to do to get yourself out of bed in the morning, okay? All right. Anyway, so that is the end of this video. There's probably so many things that I have not touched about myself so if you guys want to know more about me leave some comments down below some questions and maybe I'll do a Q&A for part two um, that will be fun leave questions down below you guys and I will do a part two of this video like a Q&A type um, format so if you guys are interested on or in knowing more about me definitely do that and I will make a video for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching I always love sharing this time with you um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscription button also hit that bell and hit the all for all notifications that way you get every single upload that I put up also it is the greatest time of year you guys it is Christmas I am going to do a Christmas like budgeting, spending um, video for you guys and that will be up next week for Positive Vibes. Um, I forgot to tell you this is today's Positive Vibes. <laughs> positive Vibes. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're loving these Positive Vibes um, videos. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know and give it a thumbs up as well. I will also link a playlist, the Positive Vibes playlist. I will link it up here for you guys. Um, and I will also put it in the description box so that you guys can check on it and go back and look at all the Positive Vibes videos that I have done. <laughs> um, this is so much fun. I just enjoy doing this for you guys. I enjoy talking with you and interacting with you and yeah, this is, this is my life and I get to enjoy it and I'm grateful. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next Positive Vibe episode. Bye.